All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the 10 best digital products that you can make using AI. And I'm gonna be talking about which types of products they are and how much and how you can utilize AI to make them. And I'm gonna be realistic with you. I'm gonna give you examples. There are some products where you can heavily utilize AI and some where you can just use it a little bit. And hopefully by the end of the video, you will have a great idea on the type of product that you can make. So without further ado, go ahead, cheers the like button and let's jump into it right now. So the first one on the list is going to be Canva templates. So Canva templates are basically pre-designed layouts for social media posts, marketing materials, social media graphics, blog graphics, workbooks, eBooks, presentations, et cetera. And you can make these on Canva and then you can sell them on platforms like Etsy or Creative Market, or you can actually sell them on Canva itself, right? So when you sell on Canva itself, you get 35% royalties for every single design that's approved and then other people use it. But it's likely gonna be even more more lucrative if you sell them on something like Etsy. And there are lots of people on Etsy making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Now, the way that you would use AI in order to do this is for generating design ideas, you could use something like Dolly or DeepArt.io for inspiration. To enhance the images, you could use AI tools such as Let's Enhance to improve the image quality. To automate the design, you could explore platforms like Relay That for AI generated design templates. To generate color palettes, you could use tools like Adobe Color CC to create harmonious color schemes. And then to create custom illustrations, you could try AI illustration tools such as Art Breeder for unique graphics. So yeah, this is definitely a digital product that you can heavily utilize AI in order to create. Of course, AI is not going to do 100% of the job for you. You're still gonna have to do a good amount of the work. Once you find something that works really well, you can basically streamline the process and make a bunch more of those types. And that would be a lot faster than when you had to brainstorm and come up with a lot of the ideas on your own at the beginning. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, did you know that you can earn thousands of dollars a month by working less than one hour per day. And this is exactly what I do by making content on YouTube. And I'm gonna be showing people how to do this with a live training where I reveal the five biggest secrets on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And these are the same strategies that helped me to make thousands of dollars within my first few months of starting and taking YouTube seriously. And I also get checks like this almost on a daily basis. So I'll be hosting this at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. And I'll also be giving away a free mini course, but only for people who attend the live training. Plus I'll be conducting a live Q and A where I answer any questions that you have on how to grow, or make money from YouTube. Now I can only accommodate a limited amount of people because this is gonna be a live Zoom training where you're talking directly to me. So make sure you sign up now while it's still available by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be unique printables. Now this could be anything from digital designs for wall art, greeting cards, stickers, coloring books, etc. Now if you don't think you can make money from this, there's so many different examples online. For instance, this mom makes six figures through her Etsy side hustle, right? So she brought in 160,000 thousand dollars in one year in passive income and she sold anything from Christmas scavenger hunts to digital planners now most of the people who have tried this side hustle typically make between ten and a hundred dollars a week to start now that doesn't sound like a lot but a hundred dollars a week over four weeks is about $400 a month. And that's not bad for something that a lot of different people are doing. Now for all these different types of products, you're gonna wanna follow a particular process for getting started. And the first thing you wanna do is identify market needs. And you can actually use AI to analyze market needs. ChatGPT is actually relatively good at identifying different market needs. And at the very least, it can give you ideas. Then you wanna create the printables or create whatever you're creating that is gonna be on this list. And you can use AI powered design tools such as Canva to assist in creating visually appealing principles quickly and easily and Canva offers templates graphics and editing features that streamline the design process and a lot of these websites are integrating AI more and more directly into the website then you can design eye-catching listing images and you can use different tools to enhance listing images to make them more appealing for instance deep art or enhance are two different tools you can use to improve the image quality of your product images then you can optimize your listings with smart keywords so AI powered keyword research tools such as uber suggest can help you identify relevant and high-ranking keywords for your Etsy listings. These tools can basically provide insights into search volume and related terms to optimize your listing for better visibility. Then you want to price your products competitively. So AI-driven pricing algorithms can analyze market data and competitor pricing to suggest optimal pricing strategies. So tools like Price to Spy, for instance, or Compatera can help you determine the competitive pricing for your printables on Etsy. So yeah, overall, printables are really good. There's a lot of opportunities out there for printables. I'd say some of my favorite ones are anything that you can kind of 
like hang up on the wall. And you can use AI to create those images that people would then hang up on the wall. So for instance, if your favorite politician or favorite celebrity says something, you could create maybe an AI image that's somewhat related to them. Definitely be careful there because there could be some copyright issues, but you could maybe create an AI image that's somewhat related to a quote that went viral or something along those lines. And if you bring it to market quickly enough, it can make a ton of sales. So this one is really good as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be very similar and that's going to be print on demand products. Now print on demand is something that I'm extremely bullish on, especially when it comes to the applications of 3D printers. So I've talked about this before on the channel. I think that very soon 3D printing and print on demand are going to be merging together. And so for instance, if you want a particular Halloween costume, or maybe you want to create some sort of like anime costume, like a cosplay type of thing, pretty soon you're going to be able to measure your dimensions, submit those dimensions to a program, and then design a costume on the program that will then be 3D printed and delivered directly to you. So this is going to be something that's going to be coming down the line, in my opinion, in the next five years. And I'm extremely excited about the applications of this. But with that being said, print on demand still has a lot of awesome stuff going on right now. So an example of print on demand would be printing t-shirts. Um, there are a lot of different websites that do this. For instance, Teespring, Spreadshirt, Redbubble, and TeePublic. And this is basically where you would make a certain design that you would put on a t-shirt, but you actually don't create it. It just looks like you created it. And then it doesn't actually make the t-shirt until somebody orders it. Once that person orders it, they then make the t-shirt, fulfill the order, and ship it to them. So that's the amazing thing about print on demand is you don't really have to risk anything because nothing gets shipped or made or stored until someone actually buys the product, which is actually amazing if you think about it. And there's a person uh, on Reddit here that is talking about how they're making 20 to 80K per month revenue with print on demand and they are actually doing t-shirts. And if you did something like t-shirts, you would probably want to list them on like every website that you possibly can because a general rule when it comes to print on demand with t-shirts is you can make an average of $1 per active listing per month per website. Okay, so for instance, if you made a t-shirt design and you put it on Teespring, Merch by Amazon, and Redbubble, and then let's say you made 100 different designs, so 100 shirts on each site, that would be about $300 a month because there's three different sites, or $100 a month from each site, right? So as you can see, it's a lot of work because it would take a lot of time to make those 100 designs. But it's very realistic that once in a while, you're gonna get a design that just pops off and sells thousands of shirts. So yeah, this one can be really good. Um, you use a lot of the same AI tools to make this as you would to make printables. But yeah, this one is really really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, with a lot of these, it involves what's known as digital marketing. And if you learn how to do digital marketing, you can sell even more shirts or printables or print on demand products because you can actually drive people to your listing that are very likely to buy that product. So just as an example, maybe you have a cat related catalog of shirts and you do some advertisements to cat people that are very likely to like those types of shirts, then a bunch more of them would buy the product. Now, digital marketing is amazing. It's one of the best skills you can possibly learn because it's going to help you no matter what you end up doing in life. Whether you want to start your own business, whether you want to do freelancing, get a good job, get a part-time job, or just learn a very valuable skill, digital marketing is going to be amazing for you. And I've actually helped a bunch of people get digital marketing jobs, and I've interviewed them on this channel. And they were all able to get digital marketing jobs through my business partner, Seth. Now, Seth does have a free digital marketing course where he goes over the different types of digital marketing as well as as if it's a good fit for you and just basically how you can get into digital marketing in general. And he has that free masterclass down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely click down there and check it out. But yeah, knowing different types of digital marketing is gonna help selling all of these different digital products much, much easier. Next, let's talk about AI powered stock photos. So this is exactly what it sounds like. I think all of you guys have seen AI is now making super realistic looking photos. And there's lots of companies out there that will buy stock photos for all kinds of different things, anything from advertising to being able to put photos in their videos, etc. And it used to be that people would have to go out there and manually take these photos. But with AI, you can just generate a ton of different photos of people doing all kinds of random things that companies could be asking for and then put them on websites. Now, some of the websites limit AI photos and other websites are actually embracing AI photography. Now, when it comes to actually being able to make money with this, they've actually surveyed different stock photographers 
dollars and it showed that about 46 percent of them were making between zero and five hundred dollars per month 16 percent of them were making 500 to a thousand dollars a month 11 percent were making a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month seven percent were making fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month and 18 percent were making two thousand plus dollars a month and that's actually pretty good considering the fact that a lot of people are just doing this as a side hustle or doing it part-time so there is a significant amount of people about 18 percent that are making over two thousand dollars a month doing this. Now, one of the websites that does allow you to upload AI generated images is Adobe Stock, and they have a commission rate of about 30% per download. So that means you can make anywhere from 33 cents to $26 per download. And after you've uploaded thousands or even tens of thousands of photos, that can really add up. So yeah, this one is pretty good. Um, I could see it becoming relatively saturated as AI just creates more and more images. It also could become somewhat redundant as well, just because of the fact that there might be the ability for business owners to just very easily create whatever AI photo they want, and they don't really have to put that much effort into it. And so it might become redundant to use these stock photography photo websites. But with that being said, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 opportunity score. Now, one that I'm even more excited about that's coming down the line is going to be AI generated stock videos. Now, I think there's actually even more potential for AI generated videos than there is for AI generated stock photos. Because right now, it's actually quite difficult to get specific types of videos that companies would want for marketing purposes, for instance. And AI is getting better and better at generating these videos. So I think this is going to be a massive opportunity in the next year or so. So it's very similar to the AI stock photo thing. I'm not going to go over all the little things on the list, but this one, I'm going to give a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I'm extremely bullish on AI stock videos. Next is going to be resume and cover letter templates. And this is specifically going to be for artistic related careers. Now for a lot of careers out there, the resume that you use is going to be very basic, but for artistic related careers, typically you are gonna have a resume that is decorated. And on top of that, even if you're doing basic resumes, there's different formats that are gonna work really well for different types of careers. And this person, for instance, made $5,000 selling resume templates. And resume templates typically sell for about three to sixty dollars each and you can create resume templates based on the type of career that the person is applying for and one website you could sell on would be creativemarket.com now a few different resume related tools you could use is resi.ai which basically is going to help you with creating the resume and then it also can help you with modifying the resume for different types of careers then you would want to identify market gaps so different types of careers that are getting a lot of searches for different types of resumes and then creating those types of resumes that are tailored for that specific career or job, then you want to learn from success. So you'd want to go on LinkedIn and you'd want to see other people that are already in the job. And sometimes they'll actually just include their resume on LinkedIn and then notice what things you basically see over and over again. Notice what the patterns are. And then based on those patterns, you can create the ideal resume that's gonna help people get into that career. And then you'd want the perfect presentation. So you wanna create a visually appealing uh, template showcased in the best case scenario to capture attention to entice buyers. Now for more artistic related resumes, this could actually be like an artistic template. And for simpler resumes, this would be a very simple like black and white template. So yeah, this is a really good opportunity. Um, the resume market, I've seen people create seven figure businesses from this industry. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, several of my clients that I've actually taught how to grow and make money from YouTube started off simply by selling resumes, right? So they actually sold resume templates or they sold services or coaching for making the resumes themselves. One of my clients, for instance, Davis started off by teaching people how to make resumes for management consulting. And Davis started working with me on his YouTube channel and now he's doing 400% better than he was before. And he's making over $100,000 a month. So if you're interested in growing and monetizing your YouTube channel, I work with a few people per month. And if you want to apply for my coaching, you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if not, maybe you just wanna learn about YouTube, you can also click that link because I have basically an instructional video on there that will teach you a lot about how I grew on YouTube and how to grow on YouTube in general. Next is going going to be creating seamless patterns. And these are basically patterns or designs that you can put on different types of fabrics, wallpaper, websites, etc. So you create the pattern, people buy it on platforms like Creative Market for their creative products, and then they'll probably end up using it in their product as well. And seamless patterns are almost like the Lego blocks or the building blocks of design. They're the visual equivalent of the catchy jingle that you just can't get out of your head. What was that? What?
And here are some examples of seamless patterns that have done really well. So I'll just put some up on the screen for you. And a lot of the time, these seamless patterns sell for like $1.5 to $8 each on Etsy. And then you basically have the sort of design rights or creative rights to use them in your own products or your own marketing. And there's an example of this lady named Elizabeth who earned over $50,000 with her seamless patterns. And this is actually the example that I used at the beginning of the video for the person who earned over $53,000. So what you'd wanna do here is you'd wanna first start by studying successful seamless patterns and you could do this on Etsy using like sweet shop design old market uh, design lover studio etc and then you just basically analyze their offerings and presentations to gain inspiration for your own designs then you can conduct some niche research before launching your pattern store you would basically want to understand the market demand the competition the potential for profitability etc and then you could create patterns using mid journey 5 and you'd want to use specific prompts like flat distinct feather pattern comma HD dash dash tile so there's certain ways of prompting mid journey and there's a lot of information out there on how to do this you can basically just look it up on youtube for free but there's basically certain ways of prompting mid journey to get the optimal outcome and then you can refine your patterns using something like photoshop so yeah this one's pretty good i'd say it's one of the less attractive ones on the list i'm going to go ahead and give it a five out of ten opportunity score next is going to be social media calendars so this is where you could actually sell social media calendars themselves that help people basically plot out their social media content strategy and you could even take this a step further and you could sell them particular video ideas or content ideas on top of that. And believe it or not, ChatGPT is pretty good at coming up with content ideas. I've actually tested this out before and I've used the content ideas that I came up with ChatGPT and they've done pretty well. So this is something that I have seen people doing before and there is a huge demand out there for this. Now this is a little bit more of a service rather than a create it one time and then sell it type of thing. So it's a lot less passive, but there's also potential for really good profits here. So this would be a type of social media marketing agency because content is a type of social media marketing. But yeah, this one is pretty good. I see a lot of potential in it. I'll go ahead and give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if you like some of these ideas or maybe you don't like the ideas or maybe there's an idea that I didn't mention in the video but you think that I should and maybe I'll mention that in a future video or if you comment down which one of these ideas you like, maybe I'll make a future video and go more in depth on it. Next is going to be a spreadsheet tracker or a template. Now, there are kind of more well-known types of spreadsheets like Google Sheets or Excel and these are incredibly useful, don't get me wrong, but you can even go deeper than this and make spreadsheets on tools like Airtable and Airtables has a bunch of automations integrations and it's even integrating AI now and that makes it to where a lot of things can just be automatically done and it really helps when it comes to running a business owner's business and just streamlining and automating a bunch of the processes so a lot of people have agencies where they go in and they set up people's Airtables and they customize it to the specific business. And if you don't know what Airtables is, it's just an incredible tool that is just super useful. We are using it in our business currently. Absolutely love Airtables, but it is pretty complicated to use. So if you're the type of person who really loves spreadsheets and you really love automations and kind of operations and streamlining things, this could be a really good side hustle for you. But if you're the type of person who just likes to kind of design Google Sheets templates or something along those lines, you can definitely definitely make money from that as well. So for instance, this person made over $200,000 just selling Google Sheets templates. And one of the top sellers in the Excel template category on Etsy has sold over 18,000 templates at a regular price of $8.90, which means they have made hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, the cool thing is you can actually use tools like Spreadsheet AI to expedite the spreadsheet creation process. And you definitely want to tailor this to different types of careers, for instance. Just as an example, there's a lot of different templates that you could use in the finance industry for keeping track of different numbers. And yeah, this is a really good one. You definitely see a lot of people making money from this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be AI generated coloring pages. So this is a really weird one, but honestly, extremely lucrative. So basically what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be making coloring books, right? Coloring books that kids and maybe even grown-ups uh, use crayons to color in and you can use AI to create those coloring books. So just as an example of a niche that I've seen do really well, now this niche probably doesn't work very well now, but a year ago, this niche was absolutely popping off. People were making psychedelic AI coloring books. So they were basically making different psychedelic looking coloring books that actually appeal to grownups, and then grownups would buy them and use crayons and stuff like that to fill them in. So if you can find a niche like that that isn't saturated or tapped yet, and then make a ton of coloring books that are related to that 
that niche, you can make amazing money doing this. And there are a bunch of people out there that are making thousands of dollars a month creating these coloring books. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made another video that within the first 30 days got over 100,000 views and it was the 10 easiest AI related side hustles. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.